Coronavirus in Florida. Two presumptive positive tests here in Tampa Bay. Nearly 200 people being monitored across the state. We're live on WFLA now after Governor DeSantis' address that you watched live on News Channel 8. Hey there, buddy. J.B. Buno here with you live. If you just saw Governor DeSantis' press conference, we've learned a lot more about the status of coronavirus here in the state of Florida. I want to get right over to eight on your sides, Jeff Patterson. He's standing by with an interview with a Hillsborough County official. Hey there, Jeff. Good afternoon or good morning, JB. I'm standing here with Hillsborough County Fire Rescue Chief Dennis Jones. It's his first responders who may have to, in fact, uh, be exposed or deal with uh, treating or meeting with people who have been exposed to the coronavirus. And Chief Jones, your professionals deal with exposure to different pathogens, different infections all of the time. What are you telling them now? How do they deal with this? We tell them to use their normal precautions. Uh, our call volume always picks up during the flu season. Many of these symptoms are very similar to that. So uh, use the normal precautions. And that's the same precautions that we're trying to tell the public as well. Uh, cover your cough, cover your sneeze, uh, avoid the handshakes, and wash your hands as frequently as you possibly can. Um, one of the things I heard in this morning's news conference with the governor uh, was that they're asking people not necessarily to go to emergency rooms or even to urgent care. What would you advise someone who thinks that they may have exposure or that they're feeling under the weather in this case? Yeah, one of the, uh, one of the consequences of going into these urgent cares or emergency rooms is you're going to be, ex if you are positive, you're going to be exposing a lot of other patients that might have other problems as well. So the urgency here is to, and the recommendation is to contact the Department of Health. We have a great Department of Health in the state of Florida and here in Hillsborough County. They're very active in the community. And they can ask some questions and do some screening and then, if necessary, then get the tests done that you need to have done, that the patient needs to have done and get an answer quickly with a uh, minimum amount of exposure. Can you tell me what kind of symptoms someone might go through? In other words, uh, you know, many of these symptoms are like a cold or like the flu. So what would you suggest to someone who's not feeling well? At what point should they call the Department of Health? I would say if you have a cough, uh, fever, uh, those, the, the, the typical symptoms that you'd feel with um, difficulty breathing, uh, trouble breathing with the same type of symptoms you would have with the flu, uh, but they're unexplained, I would just say go ahead and get that checked out. Um, we know that uh, the flu season is, uh, you know, goes throughout the year. Uh, it has peaks and valleys, but if you have those symptoms, uh, we want you to go ahead and check. It, it does uh, affect the elderly, people with uh, immune deficiencies, uh, people that have respiratory problems, and so um, we, we definitely want uh, them to get checked out when it's appropriate. And again, they're suggesting a quick call to the health department might um, avoid uh, contaminating other people. So are we to the stage yet where you would advise someone who is in that high risk population that you just mentioned, should they avoid going to large events? Uh, that's one of the recommendations that's made uh, from CDC and from Department of Health is avoid these mass congregation areas uh, where you're gonna be exposed to a lot of different people. Um, that's part of the, uh, you know, the, the flight restrictions uh, from places that have had a, a experienced a large uh, volume of this. Uh, and, you know, we have a lot of events here in the Tampa Bay area. Um, decisions have to be made as to whether you continue to attend those. And if you, if you have questionable symptoms, symptoms, you know, stay out of the public. Uh, stay home and, and don't spread that until you've uh, been completely cleared. Hillsborough County Fire Rescue Chief Dennis Jones with some really good advice for all of us to heed uh, as we go forward in this. It's always the fear of the unknown, isn't it, JB, that, you know, this is a new virus that's out there. We haven't heard about it. We haven't heard a lot about how people are suffering from it. And yet every year in the United States, thousands of people die from the flu. So uh, it maybe is a, a matter of public education and knowledge about how we move forward in dealing with this crisis. Yeah, and Jeff, we have an interactive poll going on right now on Facebook Live here on WFLA Now. We're asking folks um, if they're going to be taking coronavirus precautions, such as, you know, washing your hands more or using hand sanitizer. And 83% of respondents right now uh, saying that, yes, they will be taking additional precautions. So it's interesting, of course, to hear from Hillsborough County officials. We also heard from Governor DeSantis. Jeff, what have we learned uh, from Governor DeSantis' press conference uh, alongside other health officials here in the state of Florida? Uh, before I get to that, JB, I just want to point out something rather simple and perhaps mundane. I've known 
Hillsborough County Fire Rescue Chief Dennis Jones for a long time. It was a natural thing for me to do to, as I was saying goodbye to him, turn and shake his hand. Um, maybe we have to change the way we do things right now. Uh, an elbow bump instead of a fist bump. You know, there's different ways we can interact with one another to avoid the spread of these diseases. And that's what we're really talking about. Now, in terms of what Governor DeSantis told us, essentially, there were a number of things that they revealed through the course of this. We have two patients here in the Bay Area. One of them is a patient, a male in his 60s, who has no known travel uh, or exposure to anyone who has traveled to the high-risk areas in that China, Japan, South Korea, or Italy. Um, so they are trying to track back how that man in his 60s in Manatee County was exposed to this virus. The other person who has now been diagnosed or at least uh, tested positive for COVID-19 is a young woman in her 20s who recently traveled to Northern Italy. Uh, she was exposed in Northern Italy to this virus uh, and so they have now quarantined her roommate who's not necessarily from Florida but someone she had interaction with after she returned from Northern Italy. Um, so what the uh, Florida Department of Health is now doing is going out in concentric circles, if you will, uh, to people who have been exposed to those individuals and they're actually doing calls and door knocks and going out and taking their temperature, asking them questions about how they're feeling uh, and, and trying to track it back from there so that they can limit the spread of COVID-19 throughout the community because, of course, once you have a, a, a pocket of it in one area, people who have been exposed, there's going to be more exposure to more and more people, and, and then that's when you have a, a large scale problem. And then that's when we have uh, situations like we have in Korea right now, and in Japan, and even in Italy, where major events have been canceled. For instance, in Italy over the weekend, uh, soccer, uh, football in, in their instance, uh, major fan following and there were games over the weekend where there were players were playing and no fans in the stands. Um, that's, a, that's a difficult concept for us to all deal with, but it's something that we may have to examine as we go forward. And I know that there are some major events coming up in Tampa where there will be mass gatherings of people. And right now they're not suggesting that we end this. But of course the, the governor uh, and the uh, Florida Surgeon General are examining those possibilities about how we move forward uh, through this uh, through this event. Yeah, and we've learned also in this press conference here, Jeff, and we've learned um, also through press releases that we've been receiving here at WFLA, uh, an interesting number that according to the Florida Department of Health, 184 people are being monitored for the virus. That's something that we're also learning this Monday morning. Uh, what do we know about the 184 people being being monitored for coronavirus here in the state of Florida? So, what the governor told us is that this is not just a casual uh, phone call or something, uh, people interacting uh, with one another, that they're actually making physical visits to go out and examine those people to take temperatures. Uh, I don't know that all 184 will be tested, but certainly anybody who has direct exposure to those who have tested positive at this point for COVID-19 uh, may have tests. And the one thing we also learned, uh, we heard over the weekend and it was reaffirmed today, is that there are now testing centers in Miami, Tampa, and Jacksonville with, uh, with labs that are able to test for COVID-19. They, they're saying that that is speeding up the response time uh, for these tests. If they were sending it off to the CDC, it might take up to five days to find out if a person had a positive uh, response to COVID-19. And now that test time because of the testing centers here in Florida has been sped up to 24 to 48 hours. Uh, and of course, the faster they can get the test results back, the faster that they can find out who that needs to be quarantined. And that's important information for all of us really uh, to try to limit exposure as the best they can uh, to anyone uh, to this virus. Jeff, uh, this is a time of year where we have a lot of people coming into the state of Florida, right? I, I mean, you were talking a little bit about some of the events that we have. Spring break is around the corner. I think we have WrestleMania. People just love to come down, of course, to our beautiful home state, the Sunshine State, for some su sunshine, especially if you're from, you know, a, a northern state or if you're even elsewhere in the world. People love to come to Florida because how beautiful it is this, this time of year. Um, your your sense on, on what was that discussed at all during the press conference and your sense that how this perhaps complicates things when it comes to the coronavirus with the influx of people that we're having into the state of Florida over the next few weeks and the next few months. 
So that was one of the things I was uh, interested in to hear from Fire Chief Dennis Jones as he commented about, we're not to the point of canceling events. It, I think it would be irresponsible uh, right now because we have such a small number of cases with very limited exposure. Uh, nobody wants to call off spring break. Nobody wants to call off spring training for baseball. Um, as we get further down the road, uh, WrestleMania and other major events, you know, they might have to take a, a, another look at that. But right now, no one is saying we're calling off the Florida tourist season. Um, I did hear one thing over the weekend where doctors have been talking about the fact that we have a cold season, we have a flu season. The reality may be at some point we have a COVID-19 season. Right now, we don't have a viral drug that can treat for COVID-19, but the process is in development. Right now, we don't have um, a, a, an immunization uh, for COVID-19, but they're working on that. And within the next 12 to 18 months, they expect to have a shot that you can get uh, to prevent COVID-19. It's gonna take a while for the medical system to ramp up, for the drug companies to ramp up, to mass produce that, to test it, to make sure that it's safe for all humans so that the vaccination can be uh, uh, safe. Uh, and certainly uh, a preventative drug or a, a, a viral drug that can treat COVID-19, there's a testing phase. You know, they, they've sequenced the gene for this drug, I, I mean, for the COVID-19, so they know what it is. Uh, and that allows scientists to develop the vaccinations and the treatment drugs, uh, but it's gonna take us a little while. So until we get to that point where we have the vaccination, where we have the viral treatment drug, we all have to be very, very careful. But the reality in the future is, this may just be something that is a worldwide thing, just like the flu is. Here on WFLA Now, we have some video that is playing in front of you, everybody here in the center of your screen. This is not video from the state of Florida, believe me, the people wearing masks right now. Uh, this, is, this is video from elsewhere internationally. This is video from China. This is video from Italy, some other countries that are dealing with more of a coronavirus problem than we are right now. Uh, Jeff, there are a lot of people who are in, in the comment section, the Facebook Live comment section, of course, we're here on WFLA Now streaming to our app, our website, and to Facebook Live. There are a lot of people who are asking about testing. Uh, of course, this, this is flu season two. You were talking a little bit about how this might be COVID-19 season as well here. Uh, for people that are interested in testing, what, what have we learned? We know that there's a testing center that's gonna be opening up here in Tampa or has already opened up here in Tampa, but what do we know specifically about testing that we've learned here from this press conference? So, and that's an, again, uh, something I was asking Chief Jones about, um, and they mentioned during the news conference, if you have symptoms that are exhibiting flu-like symptoms, if you will, if you have a fever, if you have a cough, if you have difficulty breathing, rather than report to an emergency room or even an urgent care, call your Department of Health first. Um, it's a number you can Google and just call the Florida Department of Health uh, and tell them what your symptoms are and ask them what you should do. This would then limit exposure to everyone in that doctor's office, if you will. Uh, and again, the idea here is to try to limit the spread of the disease as best we can so that we don't have to quarantine uh, mass elements of the population. If we can get it now when there's limited exposure, it certainly makes it easier to deal with uh, on a long-term basis. Yeah, all right. Back to, um, I just want to reiterate, some, because people are asking a lot of questions here in the Facebook Live comment section here, Jeff. The Manatee County patient, a male in his 60s, hospitalized due to pneumonia, tested positive for the coronavirus, presumptively tested positive in the, for the coronavirus, in stable condition. The Hillsborough County patient, a female in her 20s, who recently traveled to northern Italy, also in stable condition, in isolation right now at home. For those of you joining us on Facebook Live and are voting in our interactive poll, again, eight on your side, Jeff Patterson, who was just there for the press conference by Governor DeSantis, our interactive poll, uh, will you be taking coronavirus precautions such as hand sanitizer, disinfectants, washing your hands more here in the state of Florida? 83% of people, Jeff, 83, we don't say yes. And we don't run polls very often where you see that overwhelming of a number. 83% of people say that they're gonna be taking at least some precautions here. We heard a little bit about it. It was stressed by the health officials, by Governor DeSantis, others speaking in the press conference, how important it is. Uh, you were just talking about maybe a, little, a few more elbow bumps rather than handshakes. What are some of the things that folks can do to help out regularly before we end here on WFLA Now? 
You know, it almost sounds overly simplistic, but really the best thing you can do is frequent and thorough hand washing. Not just running your hands under the water, you know, shaking them dry, but actually putting on soap, uh, giving it a couple of minutes worth of, uh, you know, scrubbing down. Somebody uh, once told me if you sing happy birthday to yourself twice uh, while you're washing your hands, uh, that's about the right amount of time to wash your hands and do it thoroughly. You have to have enough soap on there uh, in order to do that. But really, that kind of precaution uh, can, can go a long way, uh, more so than anything else. So um, that's the kind of thing that they want people to do. All right, everybody, it in your sides. Jeff Patterson joining us here live from Tampa. Jeff, we really appreciate it. I'm going to give you, as I'm on camera, I'm going to give you a, an elbow bump here just to say thanks for joining us here after that Governor DeSantis press conference. Uh, be on the lookout, everybody, for more reporting from Jeff Patterson from Marco Villarreal. Our entire eight on your side team uh, is working to separate fact from fiction here regarding the coronavirus, working to bring you the very latest information. Be sure to check out WFLA.com and the WFLA app for the very latest on coronavirus here in the state of Florida. For Aid on Your Sides, Jeff Patterson, I'm J.B. Buno. Thanks for being with us here on WFLA Now. More to come in the hours ahead. Thanks for being with us.